Hello, folks. For I'm the one. I'm the only. I am Ho Bo Tom. And I'm here. It's this that magical time of year again that every wrestling fan appreciates. It is WrestleMania season. Baby! So, yep. But before we get into some predictions, the very first thing I have to do, hit my music. There we go. That's the only way I should get any kind of proper introduction. But I have to introduce some other people first. Let's see here. And again, these people interacted with me when I did my AEW Revolution. You can see them down there on the hobo list. And I'll talk a little bit about WrestleMania, but let's talk about Walter Johnson. You, sir, you always win at least twice. Because you get that six count. Adrenaline one, you know about that boute. Yep, yes. Oh, the boute. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Dark Vader 2021. Not only are you a Dark Lord, but you're master of the air guitar and drums. And then finally, last but not least, Sharp Winter. You know that Natalia is superior. So with all the thank yous out of the way, um, let's get down to some WrestleMania predictions so I can take this piece of paper. And of course, set that aside in the old dustbin, also known as the garbage can. I learned that from well, watching way too many What Culture videos. Let's talk about some WrestleMania and mainly my picks and predictions. And we have a special guest on today, so just wait a little bit. I'm going to do day one. And let's see here, I have no idea what idea these matches are going to be in, with the exception of probably the main event and what could almost be the coming event. I'm going to start as 
it so often happens we have the six pack tag team challenge um, I honestly forget the teams involved I want to say it's the golden truth I know DIY is there uh, Waller and Austin um, the two British guys and I forget who, who the other two are but yeah it really doesn't matter because you know what folks DIY gonna go wax nostalgia I'm gonna say DIY the team of Tommaso Ciampa the psycho killer and Mr. Wrestling himself Johnny Gargano Johnny Wrestling when uh, I don't, no better place to start then we have the Latin World Order comprising of Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio Jr. taking on Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio I think this is Escobar and Dominic Mysterio's chance to actually win something so yeah I'll say Escobar Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio win. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a snooze match? I don't know. This might be. You know what? I'm going to call this my snooze match. So if you want to, I'll sober up. But yeah, you can skip this match if you wanted to. It's going to be uh, Bianca Belair. Jade Cargill and Naomi taking on damage control. You know what? They are not going to have Jade Cargill lose her first match. Bianca, Bel uh, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Naomi, they're going to win. Um, it should be okay. But you know what? That's not going to be my snooze match. This is going to be my stone cold lock. Of the night. Yeah, because that's going to be the snooze match. Um, then we have Gunther, their ring general, versus Ole, 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 Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Sami Zayn, I'll go absolutely bonkers if he brings back to Philadelphia the El Generico gimmick. But you know what? I have a funny feeling Sami Zayn's gonna win. He's gonna defeat Gunther, especially after the way Gunther beat him down, allegedly. So yeah. Sami Zayn wins. He becomes the new Intercontinental Champion. That kind of makes sense. That is the workman's title. Sami Zayn's always been a hard worker, too. Then you have the Civil War. By the way, that movie comes out next week. I'm going to do a review of that again. Probably maybe not so many minutes of it. I'll keep it down to about 10 seconds or 15 seconds or so. But yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, the Civil War. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. I just flipped a coin. Jimmy Uso is going to win. And then in a match you can actually probably sleep through. Or I'll sober up through because I can drink again. Uh, Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Yeah. Rhea Ripley's winning that. And then probably in the match of the night. Or my... Match of the night. We have the tribal chief, the one who even the great one acknowledges Roman Reigns and the great one himself, the rock versus. Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, and Seth freaking 
Rollins. You know what? There's no way Roman Reigns is losing both nights. There's no way he's, he's winning both nights. And it's The Rock. Roman Reigns and The Rock will layeth the smacketh down upon Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. So that's night one predictions. I wonder who. Yes, you frivolous man. How dare you, Shakur, and put your lips to my finest liqueurs. Yes, Johnny Walker White. Indeed. So you know what? Now that I've come back, please bid you a fair adieu. Or hello, or bonjour, all of those, and play my entrance. <laughs>
Intriguing Rollins versus man of noteworthy lineage and birthright hailing from Glasgow, Scotland. Drew McIntyre for that whatever belt it is that Seth Rollins so dearly treasures. Drew McIntyre shall be victorious. Then, in the event of the evening, we have my and yours, Tribal Chief, the one who we all acknowledge. Roman Reigns taking on the man of heritage, lineage, the grandson of of the working man, the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and this time to surpass his father and his brother, Cody Rhodes shall be victorious and hold the most prestigious of all professional wrestling championships and belts but Cody Rhodes shall win in the finest event the granddaddy of all wrestling shows the second day of Wrestlemania of course there's only one way to call this match and that is the match of the night So I would like to thank all those for watching. Please, gentle folks, ladies, you are going to imbibe or have a little tipple of something. Please do so in a responsible fashion. Of course, know your limits. For most people cannot afford such a magnificent bottle full of flavors and tastes unlike these bathtub margarita drinking simpletons and plebes of Daytona Beach again I bid you a fair adieu please like share comment subscribe or should you feel Inclined to email the hobo at the following address. I'll save that for the after show. End.